Okay guys and welcome back to Guy Fish Johnny. Um, I wanted to film the entirety of fitting the Tempest, like gluing it up and that, but being an amateur, um, I didn't want to put that additional pressure on, especially when the fitting on the wall didn't go to plan. Um, but we got there in the end, but it was a very, very hard thing fitting the two blocks on the wall. Sounds stupid, but we had these concrete screws, didn't work. But thankfully, my father-in-law was there. It was absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm gonna walk you around now um, to the actual setup, because it's all literally about an hour ago, I finished it. So there we can see the Tempest in full effect. Let me try and get that out there. No, nope, that's not gonna work. So I'll flip you back around in a minute, but you can see there, coming from the UV light, 45 degree down, 45 degree in, up through the Tempest to the top, coming out 45 degree there, 45 degree down, back into returning into the pond. Okay, so I did it about an hour about an hour ago, so I'm going to start filling up because we've at the minute I've closed this valve off because this is obviously all full of air and isolated it at the top there. You can see one of the ball valves has turned around, um, so it'll just fill the water, the air will stay trapped for a while because the valves aren't open, so it won't. It shouldn't get that wet in there because I want it to do like five hours. But I need, I'm desperately in need to fill this up because as you can see, in fact, I'll flip you around now so you can see the fish poop. So you can see here, guys, this is what's happened because it's been like 20 hours without the filter on, just the air falling into it. I'm desperate to get it, but the Nexus back kicked up and running because look, that's a good old fish poop to those that have never seen a fish poop before. Okay, so we come round here and we can see that's what I'm talking about. Took it off there, that used to have the ball valve there. Took it off 45 degree down, 45 degree in, up through the Nexus, uh, Tempest, out 45 degree, 45 degree, back into the low return. I've not done this before, unsupervised really, apart from the bottom drain. I did fit the big four inch bottom drain, so I am praying to high heaven. That this does not leak i will video it because i think it'll be funny when it doesn't leak i'll have a dance and if it does leak i'll have a cry so it'll be one or the other so stay tuned for that one um yeah so that's that hopefully fingers crossed just going to get the water filling up that'll probably take about um at four liters an hour which is the optimal run rate for the uh, dechlorinator i've got it'll probably take um five or six hours I reckon maybe a bit shorter maybe a bit longer but certainly by nightfall so you can see there the algae on there so the first treatment from the resolve didn't kill it all off but I'm hoping that as you can see there the water is not even that deep and you can see all the fish here here still can't see them so I'm hoping this tempest and a new UV light fitting at the back there and I'm hoping that will bring the water clarity up because it's just stinking horrible. Disgusting not being able to see my fish. Really upsetting. Uh, and also, you've got the added factor of, sorry, I've to excuse the house. When you walk out of there, if I drop back, or when you come into the house in that area, um, first thing that you see when you come in the back is the window. And who wants to come into the house and see a big, green puddle nobody okay so i'm going to flip you back around in a minute because i want to show you how strong this blue stuff is okay guys so as i let you down with the not actually fitting the the uh, pipes together pipe work together i'm just going to run through putting this that i've removed off the pond when i do put it somewhere else i'll need a female female going on here so i've got one handy here um and i've got everything set up so i'm just going to glue it to show you the strength and how quick it sets so the glue I'm going to be using is this. So what you do is when you open it, it's just like that. It's like gooey sort of blue stuff and like a brush that you go around the inside and around the outside applying a coat. So let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the inside of here, which you've got to clean out, which I've used baby wipes, which are here and let it dry. So it's nice and clean in there, you can see. And this is nice and clean. The actual male part that's going to be going in now ideally you'd want that longer but for the case of this video it doesn't really matter um, 
So what you've got to do is make sure that you put like it's something down that you can put everything on. So I've just got everything out shot here on a t-shirt. So what we're going to do is quickly, I'm going to go round this end with a fine brush now. So round that, you can see I've, because I've panicked because I'm on video, I've done it too much, so I've put too much on there. Then you want to get this particular part and just scoop around and round the inside applying the coat. And then you take this and that and you put it together like that, panic then, twist it. And then a good thing to do now is just take the t-shirt or take the cloth that you've been using at the bottom, remove the excess. So you can see there, try and get as tidy as I can, which will completely mess this up. So you can see there now, <coughs> sorry, you have to keep that in the video because I want to show you the length of time it takes to set. So now you can see what we've been on, maybe 10 seconds since I've put that in and twisted it. I'm going to give it a little bit longer, but I'm going to let the video run so I can see a little clock on there that will show me when it's been like 45 seconds ish. So when this goes to that, I will try and pull that off and the strength of this glue, this stuff, this uh, Griffin WDF05, very nice name comes with German instructions just in case anyone have got any German viewers there okay so three seconds and I'll try and pull this off hopefully it won't come off <laughs> you can see <clears throat> nah, it's not moving so then you can see how fast that's a great example I think to show you how fast this stuff sets so what you need to do is this is why I don't think many people video it because they're not, not very comfortable with it. But when you get round, because when you're setting up the pipe work and you've got everything in certain places and stuff like that, you have to be really quick jazzing from one place, what, from doing the inside of the female, which sounds wrong, to putting it on the outside of the male part. You've got like about 10, 15 seconds before you need to get it in and t give it a little tiny twist into place. That was what I was told. And then you can see there, 45 seconds later, I believe it's like 15 seconds, but I didn't want to ruin the video. So 45 seconds, you can see you cannot get that off now. You just cannot get it off. So the only way to do that is to cut it off. So I hope that's shown you how that's um, helped help you guys do your, your, do your pipe work. And imagine there's loads of different ways to do it, but that's the way that I've seen people do it and the shops have recommended and stuff like that. So that's the way I've done it and it works perfectly. Well, I say perfectly, because at the minute we haven't got any water going through here so we will find out whether it works perfectly or whether i'm capable which is a complete amateur i mean that's another top tip wear gloves because i didn't plan on getting it on my hands i didn't envisage getting it on my hands but i got it on my hands so wear gloves otherwise you're gonna be like you were when you're back in school doing that pva glue and stuff uh, and it gets on your fingers and you're peeling it off for like ages. So yeah, wear gloves guys. Um, yeah, so all I can say now is I'm gonna start the big fill, uh, which isn't a person, which is the water going in. Um, and we're just gonna bring the water level back up and then we'll open the slide valve. So fingers crossed guys, and pray for me, this goes right. I'm putting this video out, video out irrelevant of whether I get right or wrong because people will be able to learn from it with that stuff applied in the way that I've just done it, it doesn't leak. Okay guys, so we're rocking and rolling. The big fill has started, I've just tested my water to see if this is how I test it. Because the optimal rate on it is 4 litres per hour. So what I do is make sure I fill it up to like the litre within 15, sec 15 seconds. So anything like 13, 14, 15 seconds, perfect. It's the optimal flow rate or in filling up rate of the pond i think it's just slowed down a little bit you do have to regularly check it because my old pipe does sometimes restrict it as it's going so i check it every 20 minutes right looking at the pond what i've done is um you can see there my intention is to dig like a little trench so then i can get the, the level of the bucket straight across out taking the laurels on the front because uh, it'll be good and good to help the flat, um, laurels grow um i've sealed off all the all uh, the tempest unit so I'll close that valve 
close the bottom valve. I've still got the valve at the top closed. Then I will slowly open that valve and this valve here at the top. Hopefully without any leaks, fingers crossed, because I am absolutely praying about this. And then we will turn the skimmer on slowly about 10% and then incrementally increase it to push all the air out. Um, hopefully that'll work. So if I go from 10% up to like 50%, it should push all the air out. We'll get bubbles in the water, no leaks <laughs> and happy days. Um, in relation to the filling, you can see there where we're at. So it's probably, if I come down a little bit, there we go. So you can see we're about halfway up now from where we were originally. Um, and it has been three hours since we did that. So should be another three hours. The pond temperature is nine and a half degrees, despite it being a really, really nice day. The fish is still, I can spin around. Uh, you can't really see them, although you can see Fred there, just below the surface. You see him, he's coming. You know what Fred's like. Come on, son, let's have a little stroke your head. All right, Fred. So, all right, Fred. So you can see the fish are all right because they're, they're acting like they normally do. Well, then I'm just bringing you around here for a second so we can see what we're talking about. You can see here, in fact, what I'll, what I'll do is flip you around because take my big head off the screen so I can tell you what I'm talking about. Hi right, guys, so straight on from that, there's the skimmer, bone dry, waiting for water. As soon as we're over there, we're going to be rocking and rolling. Um, pipe work there going around, as you know, around the back. Try and get some of the air out of there first before we force the water through. Um, but in relation to the Nexus, it's been three hours since it started filling and you can see here Where we're at we aren't far off the bottom for far off coming over the ledge like literally there Like the finger a little bit. Sorry about the gluey finger um, But as soon as that's over the ledge and got a sufficient amount through I'm gonna start the uh, pump up So then because that water has just been static for a while so when I can start the pump up, I'll start off very slowly as to not drain the chambers because there won't be a lot of flow through there until we get it right up. But literally, as soon as it comes above, we're going to be in action for some, some filtration going into the actual pond. Um, I'm going to go back to the water because this is a, like a new piece of equipment, the Tempest, the water polisher. And I've changed the UV bulb, which maybe you shouldn't if you're trying to get super relevant information. You can see there, this is the water clarity we've got at the minute. Okay. You can see, if we go down to the window, we can see particles in the actual water. If I can, geez. It doesn't look very nice, this. I'm getting a lot of reflection. It makes my window look like it's really, really dirty, and it's not actually that dirty. Um, nice. Um, but yeah, we're getting rid of them particles. That's what this water polish is about. Trying to get rid of those little particles. If you can see some flying around, get down to that, that mac, one macron, micron, and get this water looking a beaming smooth, beautiful. So when people come in, they can see nice fish. And more importantly, Johnny can see his fish. Okay guys, so fingers crossed. Hi guys, and welcome back. Uh, last night I didn't do the video in the dark, Johnny in the dark. Um, because if just thought if something leaks, it's going to be obviously a lot easier to see in the day. So it's absolutely gutted. So it's the day after, and all the valves are shut at the minute. If I can take you out there, so there's going to be an air lock in here. So it's going to have to push the air out. So what I'm going to do to gently do it, or as gently as possible, is open the valve at the back, um, and then I'm going to have to open this, open these two valves. So down and oh. There we go, a little bit of water shot in there, uh, and there's none shooting out here, so that's good. Uh, and then I'm going to open this valve, uh, and then I'm going to open the valve at the end, see what happens, monitor it for a second, see if there's any water like that just happened there, and if there's not, which is fingers crossed there isn't, um, then I'll start the pump up at 20 uh, from the skimmer because it, it's high enough. There, as you can see into the skimmer but I'm not sure exactly how much water it's going to take around here but anyway fingers crossed I'm going to flip you back round so I can have a look and what I'll do is I'll run as we turn the pump on there and video 
keep it forward just so we can video all these to make sure none of them are leaking and then we can have a party. Okay guys, so that's gonna be the ball valve straight to there. No movement from the skimmer yet. This is a skimmer pump. So when we click this, it'll start pumping it all the way around and should force the air out. So what we'll do is turn this on, put it up to 20. You can hear the air moving around already. So quick, let's run. Might cut this out, but who knows. <laughs> okay, first problem, turn the valve off. It's not a bad thing. There we go. There we go. See all the bubbles are there coming out. It's all the air around here. We can see it rising after my amateur mistake. Can't see any signs of water just yet, other than that bloody big puddle. <laughs> and the air is still pumping out of the system. You've just got to keep an eye on there that the skimmer level doesn't drop too much. Uh, the water stopped pumping. The balls are up at the top. Apart from one that seems to be stuck down there. Let's have a gander. Bone dry, or oh, appears to be. Can't see any, any leaks, any water. Absolutely buzzing with that. I can't believe it. Honestly, a stupid mistake leaving the uh, valve at the bottom open, but in all honesty, it allowed me to get round so then I could observe the actual filling up of the uh, Tempest. But I am literally buzzing uh, that I have managed, and my father in law, so massive thank you to Bride Dog. He's amazing, amazing guy. He's nice, calm, easy winner. Uh, yeah, just absolutely buzzing. I can't see one little leak there. Uh, so it's all worked out well. I'm really, really happy. You can see there, we've still got some uh, little bits of air being forced out of the system because there is quite a lot of, um, there's a lot of air. If you think about it, all the air in there, all the air in the pipework here, all the air in the UV light and in the little bits of pipework around the back. Um, yeah, so just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely buzzing. Uh, sorry if that got a bit unsteady there and a bit giddy. I am, obviously. <sighs> There's always summer in there, but leaving that valve open and seven four out there, I don't care. But one thing was that when I was running around there, I could hear the water pouring out, and I thought because I thought I thought it was just going to be leaking from uh, a joint or something, but it's not. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it helps people in the future doing it. I've took some really funny thumbnail pictures, so. I'm going to attach them after this video just because I took about 10 and I just think they're really funny. Uh, like, what did my mate say when I sent him in? Um, Arnold Johnny or something like that or Johnny Rambo or whatever it was. Anyway, it was just funny. It was just a bit of fun with me with a Tempest holding it up, pulling stupid faces. Literally the only thumbnail I've ever took a picture from. All the other thumbnails have just been, which a thumbnail is the picture that you see on the video before you click onto it. Um, I always take them from within the videos, like as it's frozen. Uh, so it wipes just looks at me then, as is to say, are you in a bad mood? Are you in a good mood? I'm in a buzzing mood. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, it's been a long one. Sorry that we couldn't do it all in one video yesterday, but hey ho, I'll get them edited together. Take care. Please like, please subscribe, please take care.